then seven more, which is eight total. Then the salah proceeds normally. And then after that, when we get up, after our sujood, when we say Allahu Akbar, we add five more. So that makes it six in total. So it's eight in the first rak'ah, six total in the second rak'ah. And then after that, the salah proceeds until the end. And then we have a khutbah, very short one. It's highly recommended. It's a big sunnah to stay for it, inshallah. And then you can go home with your families and celebrate, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So before, and uh, we'll wait five more minutes because we still have some brothers coming in, inshallah. And please uh, fill in the gaps and come as close as you can to your brothers, inshallah, so we can make space for a lot of people in the back, inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, kabira. والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صلق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أنصار سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر Walillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Walillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar kabira Walhamdulillahi kathira Wa subhanallahi bukratan wa asila لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أنصار سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد 
وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله, الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد استووا استووا اعتدلوا Please straighten the lines, close the gaps. Make room for your brother, inshallah, and your sister. <clears throat> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar 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 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Al-Sirat Al-Mustaqim صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر
Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'bud Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladhina An'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله الله تعالى بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا. صلى الله عليه وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد Today is a blessed day and today is a day to celebrate Today is a celebration to spend with your family 
Today is a day to celebrate, to spend with your friends, and to reconnect with those who you have not been connected with, and to tie again the relationships that maybe have been severed in the past probably months or even years. Today is the day to do it. Today is a day of celebration where we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, sh to, to shower His blessings and mercy upon all of us here. Allahumma ameen. Why are we celebrating today though? What is the purpose behind Eid al-Adha? And I promise to keep this very short. I know we have a day to celebrate. But why are exactly are we celebrating Eid al-Adha? Eid al-Adha here is a celebration of Ibrahim alayhi salam, our father, and his legacy. And we celebrate Ibrahim alayhi salam and for what he accomplished in his lifetime and what he left behind for us as an example, as a father, as something that we can learn and take from and apply into our everyday lives. Allah Azza wa Jalla says in Surah Baqarah, وَإِذِ ابْتَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُنْ We tested Ibrahim alayhi salam with so many different trials, فَأَتَمَّهُنْ But he passed and completed all of them. Was it easy for him? His reliance and loyalty to Allah made it easier for him. We look at the first trial. At a young age, at a young age, Allah Azza wa Jal guided him to the truth. But the people around him were not on the truth. So as a young man, he was willing to go against the norm of the society, to be that black sheep, to go against the norm of his family, and say, you know what? What you guys are doing is wrong. And we look into that, how do we apply that today into our everyday lives? Young people today have a hard time standing up to what is true. Young people have a, have a hard time because they want to fit in. They want to make sure that we go with the tide. That it's easier to fit in so that no one can call us out. But Ibrahim alayhi salam taught us different. He said, even if the society goes, goes against you, even if your father says no, we are loyal as Muslims to Allah and what is right, not to anyone around us. If the, wrong, if the wrongings are around us, we say, Ya Allah, we need your help and we're loyal to you. We don't give in. Ibrahim alayhi salam taught us that. And when his father even kicked him out the house, was that enough for him to break and say, you know what, father, I'm sorry. I'm going to go worship your idols now. Let's keep a good relationship. It's not like he didn't love his father. He loved his father. In the Quran, he calls his father, Ya Abati. Ask, or I ask you today, who here calls their father, Ya Abati? Imagine that, your son calling you or your daughter calling you Ya Abati, Ya Abati. Ya Abati with the ta is uh, an added of, of, of you know, long endearment. He loved his father. Yet his father, because he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, kicked him out the house. Was it hard? Of course. But was it enough for him to break? No, because he was loyal to Allah. He sacrificed for Allah. And then we go on to his lifetime, Ibrahim alayhi salam, the challenges get, and the tests and the trials get harder and harder and harder. He was blessed with a son, Ismail alayhi salam. And you know what he was ordered to do? Leave Ismail and Hajar in the desert without saying a word. Now, we don't have this kind of burden or not burden. We don't have this kind of task. Allah didn't, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't ask us to drop off your family in the middle of, you know, a desert. And say, you know, leave them without any word and come back. And this is how you prove your loyalty to me. Alhamdulillah, we have it easier. But Ibrahim alayhi salam, under the most strenuous of situations, did he say, Ya Allah, why am I doing this? Did he ask himself, Ya Allah, why am I being tasked with such big tests? He did it. Sami'na wa ata'na. He listened and he obeyed. He dropped them off. And then we fast forward again, Ibrahim alayhi salam. His son Ismail is grown up now. Big boy. Imagine not seeing your son for a long time. He's off to college. Or your daughter, whoever it is you have. And then after four years, you see them. How are you going to feel? Ismail alayhi salam, he, he dropped his son Ismail into the desert. And he came back, young boy, young man. Not young, young man, young boy. But he was old enough to run around and have some sort of sense and maturity and thought and intellect. Right in that union of love and reunion between the father and the son, Allah inspires him in a dream. He, he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspires Ibrahim by telling him to sacrifice his own son. Now this was a dream, it wasn't a direct, but you know as the prophets, 
dreams are inspirations from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's not like, you know, like I'm thinking about it, maybe I shouldn't tell my son or maybe I shouldn't do it. What does he do? He goes to his son and he says, Ismail, you know, I had a dream about Allah Azza wa Jal ordering me to sacrifice you. Did he say he wasn't going to do it? He didn't, did he say, I'm, I'm on the edge of it? You know, maybe, maybe we can talk it out. Maybe you can convince me not to do it. He said, what do you think about it? Meaning that he's going to do it. But I want to make sure that you, because you're the one I'm sacrificing, I want to make sure that, you know, you know what I'm doing to you. Ismail alayhi salam, because, you know, he's blessed with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, yes, go ahead, Father. If Allah Azza wa Jal told you to do it, we're going to do it. And imagine the pain and the hardship he went through. Bringing your own son you have not seen in a long time. You didn't see him growing up. He's finally with you. Allah tells you, Allah tells Ibrahim alayhi salam to go ahead and sacrifice him. It's hard. It's not easy. And just as he was about to do it, he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, sent down the sheep. And this is why we now we do udhiyah today. We sacrifice the lambs. What in this whole process was do we see in the common other than the sacrifice of, of, of uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam? Every time Allah Azza wa Jal tested Ibrahim alayhi salam with hardship, over trial, over test, he never left his side. He never left his side. Ibrahim alayhi salam knew that. He knew that Allah is one that I'm supposed to sacrifice. I'm supposed to be loyal to Allah. And if I sacrifice for Allah, this dunya is nothing to me. And nowadays, sometimes us brothers and sisters, we have it twisted around. We give up something in the deen because it's easier for us. Not knowing that when we give up Allah, we give up everything. But when we give up the dunya, we gain everything. When you give up something for Allah, Ibn Qayyim says two more doors open for you. When a servant shuts a door, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jalla opens two more doors for him. Allahu Akbar. Beautiful. Can we believe in that? Can we trust in that? It's hard, yes. But we, that's why we celebrate Ibrahim alayhi salam. He was, he passed all the tests. We celebrate his commencement, his graduation, his ability to trust in Allah even when nothing makes sense. This is why we celebrate. We also celebrate that Allah never left him. And the same way Allah will never left him, he will never leave us. So long as we only are loyal to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is why we celebrate. This is why we celebrate an Eid al-Adha as a form of worship. So glorify Allah. Do the takbirat. Say Allahu Akbar, but live Allahu Akbar. Live your life as Allah is greater. Live your life as in Allah is greater than anything he puts in front of you. Any trial he puts in front of you, any hardship he puts in front of you, any blessing he puts in front of you, Allah is better, Allah is greater, and Allah is more everlasting. I'm going to conclude. Allah Azza wa Jal says in Surah Ali Imran, you can be given the dunya, the family, the wealth. You can give, be given the peace of mind. Whatever it is in this dunya you can get. But Allah Azza wa Jal says, what is better than all of this? And the pleasure of Allah is better than all of these. That's the, you know, that's the, 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 the main prize, the best winner. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those that are loyal to Him, despite everything going around us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those that sacrifice continuously for Him and never ever give up our relationship with Him for anything else. الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم انصر إخوانا المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم انصر إخوانا المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم ارحمنا ولوالدينا ولآبائنا ولأمهاتنا اللهم اغفر لنا واختم بالباقيات الصالحات أعمالنا عباد الله رحمكم الله اتقوا الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون 
Udkurullah yadkurkum wa du'uhu yasajib lakum. On behalf of myself and the ICI management, we wish all of you Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.